to Apple and Amazon headlining a very big week for tech earnings ahead of the mega caps. Our next guest will be watching at least one name after the bell today and one tomorrow. Join us right now, Paul Meeks, a portfolio manager, at independent solutions, wealth management, a finance professor uh, at the Citadel. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning. What are you, what are you expecting? You want to take on uh, Apple, Amazon? Which one do you want to go with first? Let's talk about Apple. Of course, Apple and Amazon are both coming to us on Thursday night. So but the way go. I look at uh, Apple, right? So the way I look at Apple first is you know, here's a stock that's already trading at uh, over 30 times next year's numbers, and next year's numbers are indicating a pretty big reacceleration after this year's numbers, which will be down. So I don't expect the company to do too much upsiding. You know, there's always a uh, strong chance, regardless of economic conditions, because Apple runs its business so well, they deliver the mail. I expect a little bit of upside. Uh, but when you think about some of the key drivers for them, Vision Pro, uh, not yet on the scene, even though it's been announced, iPhone uh, 15 on the come. I think, as you saw last week with the numbers from Meta and from Alphabet, that Apple might, even though it's buried in their services revenue line, get a little bit of upside surprise from digital mm. advertising, because that's been a little bit better for all. But I expect them to be solid, a little bit of upside. That's the standard, though the stock's getting really expensive. At some point, they're going to have to join the rest of the fangs and be much more aggressive about articulating their AI strategy. Well, let's talk about that AI strategy. What do you, I mean, they have not thus far explained it, how important to you is it that they explain it early? They've often been late, but they've gotten it right. And that's something they've argued for a very long time, which is they've watched lots of tech companies go out there, try all sorts of things that are somewhat experimental, if you will, and then they land the plane in a way that sometimes the others don't. That's an excellent point. They've always been able to deliver the mail, particularly uh, people don't realize this, now that Tim Cook's in charge, even more so than his predecessor, so I think what they'll do is they'll talk about the efficiencies internally that AI brings. I don't know with their product and services lineup if they can tell the tale that some of the other fangs can tell about revenue opportunities, but efficiencies within the company to right. boost operating margins, even as revenue slow, because this is a giant company that's now growing more slowly, could be just the trick. But they're going to have to articulate it Right. If they don't do it soon, they'll have an upcoming analyst meeting, and I bet that'll be a focus. Paul, we got to run real quick. Do you want to own Amazon into the print? No, I don't think so. The problem with Amazon is the management team gives such a wide range for outcomes. And in the meantime, we do know that AWS, which is their driver, is slowing. It's only supposed to grow 10% this quarter versus almost 30% reported last week for the cloud businesses at Microsoft and Alphabet. So I want to see a reacceleration. Show it to me at Amazon. Okay. Then I'll get more constructive there.